Okay, welcome to our lecture today where we will be discussing the difference between PACs and a PVC and how to tell whether this is a PAC or a PVC on EKG. So, PAC um, stands for premature atrial contraction. PVC stands for premature ventricular contraction. Some people might actually flip those letters around and you might hear some people say APC or VPC. I just don't like it. Just keep it as APC, PAC, and PVC. All right. Basically, a PAC or a PVC are contractions that happen earlier than expected. If the contraction happens from the atria, we call it a PAC. If it happens from the ventricle, we call it a PVC. Remember that any contraction that happens from the ventricle without getting the signal from the atrium is going to be a wide complex. All right, so any ventricular beat that comes by itself from the ventricle is going to be white complex, while any electrical activity that goes from the atrium to the ventricle and it passes through the AV node, the QRS is going to be narrow complex. Also, one more thing to uh, uh, make it easier for you to differentiate if this was a PAC or a PVC. If you see a small P wave just before that QRS, a small P wave, even if it looks different than the usual P waves, this is most likely a PAC. While PVCs usually do not have any atrial signal before them, and that's why we call them a PVC. So there will be no P wave before that. Also, PVCs, if you remember how the heart looks like, and usually electrical conduction goes down this way, and you would have a certain access to your um, QRS complex. Let's imagine that there's a PVC originating from this point. All the electrical activity is going to go the other way around. So in this case, if you have a beat that looks totally bizarre, or um, opposite direction. Always think about a PVC because it's happening from the other side. While a PAC usually has the same morphology as your usual QRS. Let me show you in an EKG or just a single strip. Let's say that you have a sinus rhythm going in here sinus all right and then all of a sudden you see a beat that comes in a little bit a little bit earlier you're going to see that there's a small p wave and this p wave looks like it's before the qrs and this qrs looks the same as this qrs if you're asked what is this beat so you're going to say oh this looks like sinus rhythm this looks like normal sinus rhythm but then this beat comes very early. Because it's narrow QRS and it has a P wave before it, this is most likely a PAC. Why? If you have a P wave, QRS, and then a T wave, and then a P wave, and then QRS and a T wave, and then all of a sudden you have this wide complex that looks totally bizarre and there's no P wave before it, so there's no P wave, and looks bizarre, and looks, has like an opposite direction of the usual QRSs, then you would call this a PVC. And this is basically how you can differentiate.